Hey guys, and welcome to Kirby's Epic Yarn. This is gonna be a fun little time for me because I played this game a lot when I was young, and I'm, I'm just, I feel like I'm just gonna enjoy it. But uh, anyway, let's get started. Welcome to Dreamland, a kingdom famous for peace and quiet. It's the perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. Lately, there have been rumors of a caped sorcerer going around turning people into yarn. That's right, yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato, on top of a bush. Down the hatch, but when Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. My name is... Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No, that's my magic metamato. He said metamato, see? Metamato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Kirby up. No. But yeah, and, and Kirby, the one I just played last video, check it out by the way. It's, it's, it's called a megamato or something. That's a metamato. See, that's that's why I think it's a metamato. Because it said it right there. It said metamato. Funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire body was made out of yarn. Then he saw a yarn monster chasing a blue yarn boy. Somebody help me! Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. But the air went right through his body. Kirby wondered what he should do. Suddenly, Kirby transformed into a car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. This is such and like a baby game. Strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. Just the start feels like such a baby game, man. It feels like for like little kids, but like then you get into it and you're just like, whoa. I feel like I'm just gonna enjoy myself playing this game. Oink. Oink. Yeah, this is just Kirby's Epic Yarn, man. This is just a delightful little time. That's all this is. I wanna get that star. I'm I am do not wanna I don't wanna like a hundred percent this game, but also at the same time I wanna one hundred percent this game. Because this is just a, a joyous game. This is just fun. They they really took they really took like a a chance with this game. They were just like, oh man, Kirby, we're gonna make a Kirby game. We're gonna make it so Kirby can't inhale enemies and get their abilities. That that must have like got some people in the border and being like, are you insane? If you're gonna make a Kirby game, making it so Kirby doesn't do the one thing. Oh my God, the Waddle Dee's follow. Hold on. Look at me, fall over. I want you to fall over. <laughs> That's adorable. Come on. Look at him. That's cute. That's adorable. Anyways, I was saying, yeah, they, they probably like in the boardroom was like, you are, you're an idiot. You're stupid. Why, why are you making it so Kirby can't do the one thing he usually does? You're an idiot. <laughs> Boom. Stop. Thank you. Thank you. I was about to say. This is like so. Oh, this is nostalgic. Oh, this is nostalgic. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is actually fun. Thanks for your help, the blue yarn boy said. Not that I needed it. I'm Prince Fluff. Ever since Yin Yarn the Sorcerer ripped Patchland into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ew! Gross! Stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff... Kirby transformed and smashed it to smithereens in a most spectacular fashion. Among the little blob bits, there was a shimmering piece of spiraling yarn. That's it! That's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. This was what Prince Fluff had been looking for. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland.
the yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend recover the missing pieces. And the two began their journey to stitch Patchland back together. I don't even want to mess with the Wildies, because, like, look at them. That's adorable. They fall over. Why would you want to mess with them? They fall over. Why would I want to mess with them? They're so cute. They're adorable. They're just little baby Wildies. Look at them. Oh, I want to see you fall. <laughs> it's so goofy how they fall. It's so silly. I love it. Oh my god, he took a nap. The Waddle D has taken a nap. Now he's back up. He's ready to fight. He's ready to go. He's got his thing. He's got his thing. He's gonna stab. He's gonna stab me. He's gonna get me. No, he's not. I got his thing. Look at that. Now what are you gonna do? What? He just falls over, man. I love it. I love the way the Waddle D's fall over. It's so adorable. <laughs> And now I can go down here where there's more stuff. Fountain. Alright. Oh, and there's this too. Look. Portal. I think it takes me to a cloud, right? Yeah, I knew it. I remember that. I remember that. I remember this game. I remember. It's kind of sad when you kill a Waddle Dee without, like, picking him up. Even if you pick him up, it's still sad because you're still killing the Waddle Dee, but, like... Like, you don't want to hurt them. They're so tiny and, like, fragile. Hey, look at him. Look, watch what I'm going to do when he falls. Look how sad this is. Now he's dead. Is that cool? Did you like seeing that? Was that cool? Oh, my God. There's two wildies sleeping with a heart above them. Oh, my. I'm not even going to mess with. Oh, I messed with one, but it's fine. Now I become a tank, yeah. No, I- oh, I lost so much. Oh, I had like a huge streak, I didn't even get hurt. Oh, that's stupid, I was doing so good with my streak. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I went past the five stars, but oh well. Yeah, and each level, at the end of each level, you get like a thing that unlocks the next level, which I think is so cool. Yeah. I made a butterfly. Oh, it just makes another butterfly appear. Also, like, if you gave this to, like, a little kid, like, and it's, like, a kiddie game, it's basically a kiddie game. This is basically, like, a little kid game. But, like, if you gave this to a little kid, like, this is a pretty good kiddie game. Like, if you wanted to give this to a kid and, like, give him, like, a little game that's, like, meant for little kids, I mean, yeah. I don't know if, like, it's meant for, like, little, little kids, but, like, I feel like if you were a kid and you got this, you'd be, like, like, if you were like, what age? Probably like 10 or 12 or something. You would be like, oh, this game's for babies. But then you would play it anyway because it's like the only game you got or something. And then you play it and you'd be like, this is sick. <laughs> I like how I said I'm not going to 100% it. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get like all the points possible to get the gold medal and then try to like get as many beads as I can and just try to get us everything that I can get. After I said, well, basically what I mean when I say I'm not going to 100% this game is if I miss something, I'm not gonna, like, freak out. Like, at the end of the level, if I missed something and the game lets me know I missed something, I'm just gonna be like, oh, blow well. I'm, I'm not- I'm not gonna replay the level. That's what I mean when I say I'm not gonna 100% it, but if I get everything in the level after I beat the level, I'm- I'm- I'm not- I'm not gonna go- I mean, I'm- yeah, I don't- I don't have to go back to get it, so yeah. <laughs> it's a frog tongue. This is like if you mix Kirby with like Little Big Planet, I feel like. Because Little Big Planet was like that. It had like a bunch of like basically like Sackboy was just yarn and like it was like all that crafting and stuff, and it like felt like you were literally in a world where like everything was like paper like 
paper crafts and stuff and like oh the little guy's got an umbrella i don't want to mess with him look at him he's just enjoying his best life in the rain right now i really just want to see like an edit like i don't know if there's there might be if there was is one on youtube i'll probably put it right here but if there's not i really want to see an edit where like people are playing kirby and like they're doing like a let's play of kirby and they're like oh this is adorable look at this oh look at look at kirby he's so cute and then like it just cuts to him fighting the demon at the end of the game that's like crazier than any other thing you've ever seen in your entire life just to give you like a like like an example of a game that like does that with kirby is uh kirby and the crystal shards i think is what it's called I think it's Kirby Crystal Shards or whatever, but basically if you uh, if you play Kirby in the Crystal Shards or whatever, uh, at the end you fight against a giant bleeding eyeball, and it has a T it has a T for Teen rating because of that now, which is insane to me. You you gave a game about a little cute pink puffball a T for Teen rating because <laughs> it had blood and violence, and it was due to like the final boss having so much blood. Was, it's it's really funny, honestly, but yeah. Do that with Kirby. Kirby's... It's, it's basically just Kirby 64, so do it with that. Look up Kirby and the Crystal Shards, make it so, like, it shows people being like, this is sick, this is so cute, and then, like, they're fighting against the final boss and being like, oh my god! Also, look at my, look at my combo right now, I'm doing great. Oh no, the Waddleys are trying to run away and I picked them up anyway. Sorry, Waddle you're in my way. I don't want to kill you, but you're directly in my way. Oh, I think this is the end of the level, but I want to keep getting my... Oh, oh I think I, this, is much, this is the most I can get my combo if I feel like. I think this is as much as I can get it up. Yeah, I think, I think this is max combo here. Well, for this level at least, I don't know what max combo would be. Oh, that one sucked. Oh, I should have waited a long time before doing that. Yeah, and the alarm clock wakes up a bear. I remember that. It wakes up a, a hibernating bear. Ear. And this bear wakes up, and then you can go on this level. This game is so cool in so many ways with how it, like, does things, honestly. I like it. I like this game. It's a good game. Good game. Good game, Nintendo. Keep making them. Keep making them like this. Also, can we just talk about how, for Kirby's Epic Yarn, the remake... Okay, this is, this is a little rant I want to go on for the remake. Kirby's Epic Yarn remake, they made a hard mode, and the hard mode literally is they, add an, they added an enemy to where it would just keep chasing you, and that was the entire hard mode. And you could, like... I think you could... It, I, I don't... No, no. Don't quote... Oh... You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. But uh, as I was saying, the hard mode on the new one is just the enemy chases you. And they sell it full price. Nintendo. This is why no one likes you anymore. They made the game again. Made, I think it looks a little nicer. I think it does look nicer, at least. But also, they added one extra mode and said, Hey, we're gonna make this the game, and we're gonna make it full price, because we're gonna add one extra mode. Same thing they did, that, that was the exact same thing they did with Mario 3D World. They said, let's add another mode, and then make it 60 bucks. Like, Nintendo, what is, what is wrong? Who hurt you? Nintendo, who hurt you? Because, like, something happened to Nintendo for them to, do, like, do that, right? Something had to have happened. Because it's, like, the most scummy thing to do. Like, no one likes you, Nintendo, anymore. I mean, like, old Nintendo, I mean, is still cool. I mean, their games are still good now, too, as well. But, like, just the, the way they do things is really scummy, I feel like. And, like, people always tell, tell them that, and they're just, like, not listening. It's the most scummy thing in the world. <laughs> 